This is the combinations of sword fighting for the pirate fight scene. There's, uh, we're not going to do any of the choreography or stage direction because I just really want you to get the combinations in your head. There's four combinations and we'll go over all of them. And what's practice, helpful... Practice with a family member. Yes. I'm practicing with a family member. So, you know, if you've ever wanted to like, you know, really beat up on your brother or sister, this is your chance. So. But uh, we're using foam swords. Get something very um, soft. Don't um, don't practice with anything that you know could break accidentally. Because Maybe use a, a uh... You can even use you can even use your hands. This is the way we would practice oh, yeah. uh, in ballet companies before we would bring in our real swords. Uh, if we didn't have them that day, we would practice just with our hands. We would just like practice one and two. So you can practice like that. But the thing is that no one usually thinks about, don't practice with something that could accidentally break. Because, you know, yeah, you don't want to, like, hit someone. But if you, like, get carried away and you, like, do, like, a block, if you do this and you hit it too hard and my sword were to break right here, this, this part of it would keep going and hit Hannah. So Maybe. really important not to practice with anything that could break. All right. Maybe use a... Um Wrapping paper roll. Yes. Wrapping paper roll. I mean, we've all sort of fought with wrapping paper rolls. <laughs> so, all right. So there are four combinations. Uh, the things to really think about, because you don't want it to look like, uh, just like cross the swords here, uh, just like make, make an X, What you don't want it to look like is like this, because it's like, who's who's attacking and, and who's being attacked? Do you really want it to look like one of you is trying to strike the other person. So always one person attacking, always one person defending. So instead of it being like this, if I lean forward and Hannah leans back, it really looks like I'm the one attacking if you look at this picture. You see that Hannah is like fighting me off. So the first combination, I'm person one, she's person two. Person one, you try to go right down on the person's head and they block really high. Don't get close, though. let it get close to your head. Try not to get close. You always want to block far away, all right? This is stage combat. This is not real combat. So a chop down to the head and, and you block. Now this person's turn to attack. They're going to try to stab me right in the belly and I'm going to knock it away. So if we do that slow, stab at me really slow. I knock it to the side. All right, that's how you, that's how you block someone trying to stab you. You just go, nope, sorry. So the first thing is, I attack her head. She tries to stab me. I knock it to the side. Now I'm going to try to attack her leg. She blocks it. You like make a wall on the side, and then from there she pushes and I turn. So a little bit faster. Head, stab, leg, push and turn. Okay, so that's the first combination. One more time, slow. I chop the head, she tries to stab me, I knock away, I go for her leg, she says no, and okay. so when I go for your leg, let me actually, like, there you go, so don't block way out here, okay. all right? So, a little bit faster, one more time. I go for the head, she tries to stab, I go for her leg, and she pushes me. There. And if, if the person blocking the leg leans back, that gives you a little bit more push when you're spinning the person, all right? So let's move on to the second combination. The second combination, let me double check. Uh, we go back and forth. So person one attacks first. So I'm going to try to hit the side of her head and she is gonna make, like hold it straight up and down, you make a wall to block. So. She makes a wall there. Now she tries to do the same thing to the side of my head, and I block. And then I go again, her head, and then my head. Then I'm going to try to swipe, and she ducks under it, and that makes me spin around. Then she swipes at my feet, and I do a double attitude jump over. So one more time, slow. Head, 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 head. I go up. Oh. I swipe and spin. And then she swipes and I do a double attitude jump. So it should really go one, two, it should go forward, back, forward, back when it's faster. Let's do a little bit faster. One and two and three and four over the head, double attitude. 
All right, it's always good to go back to the first combination and go through the one that you just practiced. So let's do the first combination. Over the head, she stabs. I go for the leg, and she makes me spin. Then forward, back, forward, back. She ducks, and then not in double attitude. All right, third combination. This one, we are going to make an X in between us. So we're gonna strike high, strike low, strike high, strike low, and we stay here, and the person points, what's that? And uh, this person looks, and gets poked in the butt. All right, so high, low, high, low, what's that? What? Ouch! All right, now the thing is, uh, I'm gonna point, she looks, you have to actually poke the person in the butt so they can feel it. So if you just touch, it'll be like, you know, if the person doesn't feel it, then they can't react. Yeah, so if you really give them a poke, ah, yes. And it's, it's foam, so it's not gonna hurt. All right, one more time. High, low, high, low. Up, down, up, down. What's that? Up, and poke. And you really have to make a big reaction that you got poked in the butt. From the beginning, first combination, over the head, tries to stab, leg, and spin the other person. Then forward, back, forward, back. I, you go under, and I do double attitude, then high, low, high, low. High, low, high, low. What's that? What? And poke. All right, last combination. And we're actually gonna switch sides on this one. Um, all right. She gets to be the attacker this time. We're switching sides because I'm gonna, this person rolls and there's more room on this side. So, the person attacking will try to hit this side of my head, this side of my head, and then this leg, and then they come straight down on top. So it's one, two, three, four. So, she tries to hit this side and I block, tries to hit the other side and I block, tries to hit my leg and I block and comes all the way around the top and I roll out of the way. And when you go all the way over the top to try to hit, you can actually like let, let it hit the ground. So it looks like you missed. So one more time. High, high, low, and roll out of the way. Okay? From the beginning. Now let's, let's add something that's a little bit fun. Since, we're, since we end up on the other side, let's pick one of the combinations to rotate while we're doing it. So I think the first one, we stay. Maybe the third one? Yeah, the third one where we're just going up, down, up, down, and then you point. Mm -hmm. All right, so the third combination, while we're doing it, we're going to rotate. First combination, head, stab, leg, spin. Forward, back, whoop, really reach forward, forward, try to hit my head. Go for my head, go for my head. There we go. Easy to block when the person is actually going past you. Let's do the front of the beginning. Okay. Up and stab and down and turn. Go past the head, past the head, past the head, past the head. I swipe and you duck. Double attitude. Now high low, high low, we're gonna turn. Up and down, up and down. What's that? What's what? Hook. Ow. Then high, high, low. High, high, low, and then chop and roll. Okay. <laughs> so those are the four combinations. Let's do it one more time because it's fun. You have enough time? Yep. Okay. All right. And. High low, high low turning. And then block, 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 and roll. <laughs> Good. Okay, those are the four uh, pirate sword fighting combinations. Find someone to practice with. Find a safe place to practice so you don't break anything on the shelf. You can even do this outside. And uh, Find something to practice with that will not break and is soft. Make sure that if you get hit, it doesn't hurt.